Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Critical Reactions with your host, Brian. We're going to wrap up today with a special selection, which is where one of you tell me exactly what it is I need to check out. Today's selection comes at us from Neil. I'm a subscriber of yours, and I'd love to hear your review of our new song, Majestic Goat by the band Imperium. Thank you, and more power to your channel. All right, this band only has 200 subscribers. Uh, real interested to check this out and see what's going on. Let's dive into this and see what Imperium is bringing to the table today. Yeah, it's tearing it up straight off the bat. Love to hear the bass. Response between lower and higher pitch runs. A couple of different vocal uh, techniques. A little bit of some classical vibes here. movement going on behind the solos. Beautiful progression to throw in the middle of that.
very, very cool. Uh, just exceptionally performed, exceptionally composed. Um, I don't understand why this band is uh, such a small subscriber count. Uh, I, I, the, the drums, right? I gotta, I gotta touch on the drums real quick. Um, the drummer is just sitting on the razor's edge here in the exact middle of the spectrum of melodic playing and sitting in the pocket and getting a nice, uh, a rhythmic playing going on. Uh, there's a lot of really cool flourishes going, coming out of the drum set. Um, while still keeping that core rhythm and heartbeat for the song to, to you know, reside within. Uh, the guitarists are just constantly driving forward. The sheer intensity and speed and precision going on in practically every part of this track um, is just... It's, it's just constantly going. <laughs> the sheer endurance of putting on a show of songs comprised like this is just it blows my mind um i love the the bass i can't get enough of the bass honestly <laughs> the bass was pretty loud uh in a good way i i might even ask for a little more of it in some places uh it just it's a really nice round tone it has a little bit of that bite that i would expect from metal but it carries a lot of the presence that i hear in in jazz bass uh just walks a very fine line there and i greatly enjoy that uh and then the bass work itself not even just the tone but the playing that comes out of it is just phenomenal i love all the lines how they contribute i love how the bass got a chance to be lead for a little bit uh it was also part of a three-way counterpoint so like so the bass and drum are really what's what stand out to me the most here um just doing a phenomenal job at laying down a bunch of things that shows up in metal sometimes but not frequently enough for my tastes so <clears throat> having the the bassist here playing moving lines and the drummer playing melodic ideas is just it is right up my alley and i'm so glad that this band is leaning into that The vocalist, uh, I'm glad that we got a couple of vocal types out of it. Neither one are really my cup of tea, but you know, I try to approach this as objectively as I can. They fit the music in a way. They, they bring about more of that aggression and, and power that the music is implying. I personally would have loved some cleans in here just to balance it out. I think a nice mix of both of them would be nice, but you know, it's not my band. If you guys want to keep on with the heavy stuff, you guys are killing it with that for sure. I do like how I like that our vocalist has a little bit of variety. There's the growl and then the higher pitched uh, harsh. And then one of the other guitarists also does a, a harsh that gets layered in from time to time. And I'm a big fan of layered har harshes. So that was neat. Um, so yeah, just on a on a purely performative level, I really dig what's going on here. Now, the composition is also something to gush a little bit about. Um, it it follows an interesting pattern. Almost like a... You know, like verse, chorus, solo, verse, chorus, solo. I think something along those lines. It's, it's an interesting pattern. It utilizes... Uh, the three core components of metal writing, but just arranges them in a way that uh, kind of gives each of them equal weight. Which is neat. It changes things up. Um, but it also, to me, it felt weird to go ABC, ABC, and weird is good. Um, I was just, it wasn't, ex it was unexpected, but each time we got to that C section with the, the solos, I always found a big grin on my face, primarily just because I enjoyed that more than the other two sections. That's completely down the taste. Uh, the A and B sections do a lot of, uh, 
column response uh, between low and high phrases, whether it is the growls coming in with these really low uh, uh, hits for like five or six beats, and then the last three or two, two or three beats of the phrase are a higher pitch guitar lick, right? We heard a lot of that. We also heard a lot of fast, low end riffing, like three notes, do 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 do, just kind of like three lower notes and just kind of making a pattern out of them and then punctuating the end of a two bar phrase with some higher ideas. Uh, kind of follows the same lines as the vocals to guitar passing off, but within a single instrument. We heard a lot of this and it's impactful. It's got drive. It's got that aggression. Um, it's just not my type of riffage. Uh, it's, it's very cool. Uh, just <laughs> not my cup of tea. So when we shift over to our bridges, uh, to the solo sections, and we get away from the metal and embrace more of a classical composition angle with moving melodic lines, linear concepts, uh, counterpoint, harmony, this is where everything really starts to shine for me personally. I would love to see a bit more crossover, but I'd wager that for fans of this style of music, the separation of the metal and the classical is probably what they're here for. So I don't know if you necessarily want to go about trying to mix the two and creating songs that are primarily a mix of both rather than alternating between them. But uh, I definitely enjoyed more of this melodic writing in, in my listening with, you know, my tastes. Um, but yeah, the chord choices in these sections, like I said, the counterpoint. There was once, it was the very first solo section, and we actually had a duet going on where they were close, very similar, but not doing the same things, not accenting on the same beats. And it created this very cool, almost like a delayed vibe going on. And then we further explored these ideas of counterpoint in our second solo section. I think our th we had three, right? Anyways, there's definitely an exploration in the second solo section. Um, when we had both guitars doing their own ideas and the bass center channel doing its idea, just a beautiful three-way counterpoint uh, where everything was just working together very nicely. Uh, everyone kind of doing their own thing, impressive on their own, but the sound that they all created together was also equally, if not more, impressive to hear together. Uh, really love these sections. These were also the sections I felt where the drummer was able to open up a little bit more and include all sorts of different techniques and embellishing ideas and ornamental concepts within that, you know, rigid tempo drumming. Um, and it was just everything about this section, I feel like opened the band up from just, this is going to sound derogatory in some, but from just another metal band into something that I feel that I can really connect with on a musical level. And like I've mentioned, a lot of that's just going to be my biases, what I listen to, what I enjoy listening to. Uh, it really connects with me a lot stronger. Um, so yeah, just phenomenal stuff going on and I really enjoy that. Um, it always felt a bit jarring to get back into the metal, but again, like I said, I think that's just going to be the style of music that your fans are going to enjoy. I'm sure there's a, uh, you know, music out there that also does this, just bounces back and forth between the metal and the classical. But, oh man, just, I, I was always waiting for that, that third section to come about. Uh, to hear what kind of chords you would use now, how you're going to use all your different instruments, you know, what kind of uh, melody lines you're going to uh, play with and what kind of notes you're going to choose outside of the key. There's some really uh, nice choices of coloring outside the lines going on in this track. Just uh, in this section, just overall, just phenomenal moments. Um, and, you know, even... I'm not usually a fan of the pure shred, but I think here it it works. I don't know if it's being paired against the metal sections in the other half of the track or just what's going on with the drumming at the moment or whatever, but usually I want uh, a different kind of phrasing when I listen to solos, but here just the, the rapid and, and frequent constant attacks from the guitars and bass, it all just really works. 
So yeah, just a a phenomenal track, I'd say from from start to finish. Do I have anything else that the production was good? I there was one thing in the production. Uh I can't remember what it was, so it wasn't a big deal. One of the instruments in one of the sections I felt was just a hair bit too low. It might have been the drum cymbals. But I, I can't remember, so like I said, it's probably not even a big problem. It, it might have been just a momentary thing. One section, I felt it could have taken a boost. But yeah, just overall, man, music's great. Uh, the composite, the, the composite music, the performance is great. The production is great. Um, just a phenomenal job. Uh, this came out in July. It says for fans of first fragment, I, I've enjoyed first fragment, obscura, necrophagia, spawn of possession, cacophony and symphony X. I don't, I've, we've, we've listened to half of those at least, but uh, I'm not remembering any of them other than first fragment, but yeah, this was uh, this was good. Let me check real quick and see if there is any lyrics anywhere. These smaller bands sometimes it's more difficult to find lyrics for them. Otherwise, we'll wrap this up. And yep, that's that. We're gonna wrap it up here then. Uh, I'm really excited to, to to have heard this. I'm probably gonna go check out some more of their works now. Um, if you enjoyed this, definitely go check out their works. I know this isn't a creator request technically, but it could have been. So in the description. I'll be sure to add links for Imperium rather than my own links so that uh, if you're interested, you can go and find out more of their works and, and their merch and contact, and whatever else you're interested in regarding them. All right. So until next time, remember to be critical, not cynical of the music you listen to and have a fantastic morning, afternoon or evening whenever you choose to watch my videos. Mm -hmm.